Hello students, welcome to Chemistry Lab. In uh, today's lab, we're just going to take a look at some interesting uh, chemical reactions and we will see what are the indications that let us know that the chemical reaction has occurred. So I hope that you enjoy this video. So for this experiment, what I have done is I've turned the lights off and uh, I have a uh, ribbon of magnesium. I'm going to put this uh, ribbon of magnesium into a flame. So whenever you are working with flames in the chem chemistry lab, you want to be extremely careful. So I am going to wait to see what happens when I uh, put this ribbon, magnesium ribbon in the flame. So you can see that the magnesium is burning with a really, really bright white light. So I have a porcelain uh, crucible here. So I'm just going to drop it into that uh, crucible. And you can see that uh, when magnesium burns, it, it burns with a bright light. And that evolution of heat and light is one of the indications of a chemical reaction. So for this uh, next reaction, we have some uh, baking soda. Okay, so this is a staple of all chemistry classes. We have a, uh, a test tube with some baking soda in it. The other test tube has uh, some plain old vinegar in it. And we're going to mix them together and see what happens. So here goes the vinegar inside the baking soda. And as soon as the vinegar goes into the baking soda, you can see uh, that there's a lot of uh, bubbles being produced. So this is what we call effervescence. And when you see that there's effervescence in a reaction mixture, then uh, we know that the chemical reaction is taking place. So effervescence is one of the indications of a chemical reaction. Okay, so we have a small piece of magnesium here. We're going to take this piece of magnesium, we're going to put it in a test tube. So that magnesium piece is in the test tube. And then uh, we're going to add a little bit of copper sulfate solution to it. Okay. So we have copper sulfate solution going in. And uh, the copper sulfate solution has covered the magnesium completely. And uh, if you can see clearly into the test tube, you see that there are little uh, bubbles attached to the magnesium and those bubbles are uh, gently rising to the top okay so uh, when you see a chemical reaction in a mixture then one indication of a chemical reaction is uh, the production of bubbles now in uh, chemistry we don't call them bubbles we use uh, another word which starts with the letter e it's called effervescence so try saying that word a couple of times so one of the indications of a chemical reaction is uh, effervescence. And effervescence means that uh, bubbles are formed inside a liquid and then those bubbles will rise to the top. So uh, if you remember the magnesium was at the bottom and because of those bubbles of hydrogen, uh, the magnesium has risen up to the top. So one indication of a chemical reaction is uh, effervescence. Okay, so here we have a test tube, and this test tube has potassium chromate in it. And as you can see that the potassium chromate is a uh, yellowish clear liquid. So I'm going to set this aside. And then the other test tube I have here is a solution of uh, iron sulfate. This is actually iron 2 sulfate. And uh, you can see that it has a light green color. So we have one solution which has... Uh, potassium chromate and we have another solution which has iron sulfate. So what we want to do is we want to find out what happens when we uh, mix these two solutions. So I am going to pour the potassium chromate into the iron sulfate solution and then see what happens. So as soon as the potassium chromate was added to the iron sulfide solution you see that the uh, solution has kind of turned muddy okay and uh, you can see that there are some uh, solid particles so we're going to let this sit for a while and then we're going to come back to this and we'll see 
uh, what happens inside this test tube. So all we did was started with a uh, iron sulfate solution and to that we added some potassium chromate and that produced this uh, muddy kind of a uh, liquid. So we let this sit and then come back to it and see uh, what happens inside the test tube. We uh, let this test tube sit for about 15 minutes and after 15 minutes you can see that there's this uh, liquid at the top, right? So that's the solution. But then at the bottom you can see uh, that there's this uh, layer of uh, solid particles that's like a powder. So this is what we call a precipitate. So the reaction between potassium chromate and iron 2 sulfate produces a precipitate and getting a precipitate is another indication of a chemical reaction.